Hello Internet. Today we have an unknown model GPU from Inno 3D, a rare brand on my table. Just like Dell, Inno 3D had saved $1 printing the model on a sticker and then charged the buyer $100 over its MSRP, which in the end brought this GPU to my table. So here we are clicking likes and writing first comment before watching the entire video, which is fine and it's exactly what I want you to do. So thank you for doing so. Anyway, the card seems to be in a good condition and after not finding any short, I'll power it on and see what it does. 0.1 amp means this GPU is not doing much at all. So let's poke around and see what we're missing. 12 volt and 5 volt present. Next in line would be 1.8, which as you can see, has exactly zero volt on it. So let's investigate. And before diving too deep into this power rail, let's inject 1.8 volt into it and see what happens. So just by injecting 1.8 volt into the rail will not help unless we also inject power good, which I cannot do since I only have two hands and uh, only two sources of voltage. To solve this dilemma, it's easier to just fix the 1.8 volt rail so it would generate its own power good signal and hopefully wake everything up as well. We start by identifying the pinout of the chip that generates 1.8 volt. This chip is powered by 12 volt and it has to be activated with some kind of voltage on the enabled pin. If those two are present, we will check for a VCC. 12 volt present and the enable is present. So next pin to check is VCC. And since there's nothing on the VCC, boot will also have nothing. So let's find where the VCC comes from. On the other side of the board, there are two zero ohm resistors. The resistor that's supposed to be connected to 5 volt has turned from 0 ohm to 69 kilo ohms. And as you can imagine, before the resistor we have nothing, and after we have 5 volt that we're missing at the VCC pin. So let's replace this resistor with a 0 ohm and see if that helps. We now have 5 volt traveling all the way through 0 ohm resistor and ultimately back into the buck converter VCC pin. And we also have boot. And most importantly, we have a power good signal, which can only be present if we have 1.8 volt. Perfect. Perfect. Even better, with 1.8 volt rail restored, we have core and memory. So what's left now is to assemble it, run stress test package it up and sell it on eBay. I mean, let the owner know it's fixed. But there's one problem. In case you didn't notice, fan shows zero RPM and as a result, we're getting near 100 C. Power is going into thermal throttling, which is not normal. My guess is the idiot who put this car back together, plugged the fan connector into the wrong port whoever that person may be. So let's fix that real quick and see if that helps. Yep, and just like that, we're able to fix this GPU by simply swapping the fan connector. Easy fix. A connector replacement specialist would have had no problem fixing this GPU. So I guess it ended up on my bench by accident. That will be it for this repair. I hope you guys have learned something today and if so, you owe me a like comment and uh, subscription if you're new as a sign of appreciation. Goodbye.